are good for. So we're actually going to be talking about a French movie called Raw. No, this is not the Eddie Murphy stand-up routine, nor is it WWE Raw. This is a horror film from France, directed by a name I'm going to attempt, but I'm going to, it's going to be 100% butchered, Julia Ducamaru. Sounds like Dumamu, doesn't it? But it's, she's not a demon. Anyway. This is a somewhat disturbing movie. Now the story here basically focuses on a young, naive, innocent girl who happens to be a vegetarian and she is going to a veterinary college. Now her mother had studied there previously, her older sister there is currently studying. So she goes to this college and she finds out there's all sorts of uh, uh, debauched shenanigans going on. But when she's there, there's an initiation uh, kind of like prank where she has to eat a raw rabbit sliver. And this causes her to have an insatiable appetite for raw meat. And then from there, going on from hue to human flesh. And as the story progresses, it transpires. There's more to the story than meets the eye. As to what that is, you obviously have to watch the film to find out. So let's talk about what worked and what didn't work with raw, also known as grave. So let's talk about negatives, first of all. For me, it was two main things, and one of them might seem picky, but we'll go with the more legitimate one first, I would say. And that is, this film is shot in a, in a very realistic manner. Uh, it seems to happen, you know, things seem to happen, in, in, and people are shot and act in a realistic way, apart from one thing. And that is when our, our kind of main character first um, starts eating human flesh. She doesn't talk to anyone about it, including her sister. And there's a reason, there's a big reason why you would talk to her about it. Uh, and it, as the film progresses, no one really talks about it. And it really bothered me because in a film that's kind of shot in a, in a kind of a gritty way and, you know, has these kind of like subtle performances and it's somewhat realistic, it bothers me that it's such a kind of like key thing. It simply wouldn't be brought up in conversation. Now, it's kind of, there's the, I believe there's a reason for it, and there's a, there's a reveal at the end of the film as to the reasons for, you know, why things are happening. And I feel like the conversation was neutered in the, the rest of the film as to not kind of have that reveal kind of come up too early. But the problem is it just doesn't seem likely. It doesn't seem like people will just do these kind of things and then just not discuss them with people who they're close to. It really bothered the hell out of me. And the other thing, which is a bit more picky, admittedly, is we go to this kind of veterinary college and it just seems to be the most debauched, hedonistic place you've ever seen. Uh, and the, the, there's all these kind of like pranks that seem to happen, wild parties. The, the students just seem to be running riot. And we don't see one member of faculty trying to kind of uh, steer the right ship right or kind of you know, have security or anything like that. There's nothing. It just seems to be like Lord of the Flies, basically. And it just, again, it just takes away from that kind of... Uh, you just end up concentrating on that and thinking, this just seems like, uh, you know, a, a rave party rather than a kind of a, a college campus. It's, it's a little bit OTT, I think. And again, it just kind of bugged me. But what did work about here? First of all, let's talk about the acting. I thought the acting here was very, very good. Now, the, the main actress... Um, goes through a very definite arc. So we start off with she's this kind of meek, uh, very kind of naive and kind of uh, innocent type. But towards this, yes, we go through the film, basically she, her, her, she changes her personality, her, even the way she kind of, her posture and kind of her, the way she holds herself changes throughout the film. Actually kind of, her personality changes because of this uh, craving of flesh. Um, so I thought the acting was very, very good. Now with foreign films, I always find it a little difficult uh, to sometimes gauge the acting because obviously it's a foreign language film, you're having to read subtitles, so it's difficult to really see how the lines are being delivered because obviously I'm reading the English translation, which isn't always the same. But even with that, I felt the acting here was very, very strong you know, from the cast. So again, this adds to the, kind of the realism. It's a very slow paced film, uh, decidedly so. I get that might put people off as well, actually, to be honest. But I kind of quite like the the slow burn and the kind of the realistic take on, or uh, well, somewhat realistic take on these sort of characters, as they seem to have, you know, have these genuine um, sort of connections with each other and, and act in kind of quite natural ways. Apart from the things that I've mentioned, obviously, that was all good. 
The thing for me, I feel I will have to point out with this film, this film I feel will be quite shocking to people, at least, at least some people. Now the gore here is explicit, but not gratuitous. And what I mean by that is, when we do see scenes of cannibalism, it's done in a way that looks very realistic, but it's not all over the place. It doesn't happen that often, if that makes sense. So when we, when it, when it, we do see it, it's all the more shocking. And it's done in such a way that it really kind of feels like it's real, if that makes sense. The other thing is, it, there, there are, it being set in a veterinary no, uh, hospital, there are scenes of animals being, um, cadavers at least, being uh, examined and stuff like that. And there, it looks like real animals being cut open. If not, there's some hella good prosthetics in this. But to be honest with you, I've got a feeling they've used, they've, they've used real animal cadavers. So if you are a sensitive type of animals, uh, you may not want to watch this film. And there's a, there's a scene where there's, they are uh, operating on a horse, and it, it's a real horse, there's no doubt. I mean, it looks like it's clearly being done in a real medical way, but nonetheless, you may find it just, you know, upsetting if you are one of these kind of, like, a animal people, basically. And the, the gore is done, and the kind of the, the scenes where we have the, the kind of, like, the, the raw meat eating, it, it done in such a way that it's very, very realistic. So very well done to the director. So it's really sort of capturing this kind of, like, um, visceral moments, basically, and kind of making it shocking. And I was reading, apparently, when this came out, uh, initially in the, in the festival circuit, a lot of people puked or had to walk out if they couldn't kind of take the... Uh, take it basically so you know it's not like a zombie loads of blood and guts everywhere but it's just done in a in a way where i feel which is kind of hitcher and you know it's 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 explicit in what it's kind of getting across so it's but it's very well done overall i've got to say it's a very well made film good performances good direction S some issues i have with the story like i've said i just think there are, there are certain things that were were kind of done for the sake of the of, the reveal at the end and, and the kind of the flow of the story that didn't make sense and kind of felt like it was kind of away from our reality. But overall, it was a solid film. I'll give this movie a 7 out of 10. Have you seen it? What did you think of it? Leave me a comment and I'll look forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now.